Hi everyone, I'm Chris and I hope you're having a great day. Welcome to this short video on how to record your phone screen directly to your PC for editing or live streaming. This video is a chicken and egg. I wanted to make a video of setting up some software on a phone and I first needed a way to record it, so I made a video on that. I'm an Android phone user, so that's what I'm using here, but many of these principles would apply to iPhone and Apple or Linux. We're going to be using two free pieces of software AirDroid on the phone and OBS Studio on the PC. First, make sure your phone and PC are connected to the same wireless network. On your phone, go to the App Store, find and install AirDroid. Once installed, open AirDroid. No need to sign in, just click Skip. Allow AirDroid to access your media. Press AirDroid Web. The service is now running. Make a note of the IP address and port number. You will need this to connect from the PC. We're going to use OBS Studio on the PC to record the phone screen. If you don't have that installed, open your web browser and head to obsproject.com. You can either download the 64-bit version directly from the homepage or click the download link for more options. There are many great tutorials on YouTube for setting up OBS, so I'm not going to go into detail here. Back to the browser. Enter the IP address and port number we took from the phone. In my case, this is 192.168.0.222 colon 8888. Accept the connection on your phone and you should be presented with the AirDroid interface to your phone. As we are interested in seeing the actual phone screen, click on mirroring. Again, you will need to approve the action on your phone. Once the mirroring is established, any input on your phone will be mirrored to the PC window. The overall responsiveness is not bad, given I'm using an old Nexus 5X as a test phone. Now we need to open OBS so we can set up the capture. Unless you have been using OBS for other purposes, your scenes and sources should be empty. Click the plus symbol on sources to add a new source. Select window capture. You can give the source a name if you like, or leave it as default. Click OK. Now make sure your browser window that is showing AirDroid is selected and click OK. I make OBS full screen just to make this a little easier. We are currently capturing the whole browser window at this point which we can resize using the red boundary node. However, if we hold Alt and use the boundary nodes, we can trim away the parts of the display we don't want to capture. Once you have the desired area, you can resize by releasing Alt and using the boundary node. When you are happy with the size, you can either position manually or right click the captured area, click transform and send it to screen. That's the basic setup done. Now we're going to go into the OBS settings. Click on output, then recording settings. Adjust these to your personal requirements. When you're happy with the settings, you can just click on start recording and begin your capture. Additionally, as we're in portrait mode, we do get big black bars on either side of the phone screen. I like to add a fairly non-distracting image. Click the plus symbol on sources to add a new source and select image. Again, you can name this or leave it as default. Click OK. Then browse and select your image. This image is 1080 and fills my screen. As this is a new source, it will be layered above the capture. Simply right click the image, click order and move down. We're now good to go. To demonstrate how the process handles phone screen animation, 
I ran a simple speed test from the phone's browser. I found this more than acceptable for my purposes. If you want to capture gameplay, you will probably want some capture that runs on the phone or a HDMI capture device. If you found this video interesting or useful, please hit like and subscribe. If you have any comments or ideas, leave them below. Thanks for watching, stay safe and stay well.